Hello there, this is Platoon Studios Flex Reverb, it's the versatile free reverb plugin. Here at the top we got this visualization. We can change the size of the reverb, the width, the pre-delay. We can choose a cutoff frequency here. We can change the Q factor. We also got a gain knob here, but it is inactive at the time. We can change the dry wet mix here. And we can change the slope from 60B per octave to 48 dB. Alright, so let's try it out. Starting with the drums. Let's adjust the cutoff frequency. Make the reverb a bit brighter. Some more reverb. Bypass. Activate. Nice. Here we got some strings. I will fade the reverb in. Change the size. Not so much damping. A bit more pre-delay. To get them more up front. Maybe around 30 milliseconds. That's good. I really love this visualization. This brighter green line is indicating the reverb and the darker green indicates the source signal. I just mentioned that we can bypass it here. We also can change the scale up to 150%. Alright, so let's take a look what they write about it. Flex Reverb by Platon Studio is a free high quality blade reverb with a handy graphic EQ. Well, I just see that we really have an EQ in this. We can use it as a parametric EQ. Well, that is a really nice feature, especially for a free plugin. I'm curious to try that out in the next example. Flex Reverb works with the principle of algorithmic reverbation dense sound reflections, producing realistic clean reverbation. That sounds great. Flex Reverb is a free, simple to use reverb with pre delay, time, and size, plus an extensive filtering section to shape the reverb EQ. Yes, and for what I can say, it uh, also sounds really great. Well, that's a user manual. This plugin is really easy to install, and um, they have their own installer, and it also works on Windows and OS X. Set the time length of your reverb in milliseconds. The sky is the limit, but you can try a lot of room types. Pre-delay, the time between the original sound and the start of the reverb. The higher the value, the larger the room. Damping, set the amount of absorption on the high frequencies and get a warm feeling to your reverb. Give your sound a unique color. Set the stereo width of your reverb, get bigger impact with this handy knob. Dry, set the volume of the original sound. Wet, set the volume of the modified sound. Equalizer. You don't have to use a separate EQ plugin, because we included one in our reverb. The graphical interface helps visualizing and modifying the frequencies of your reverb. You can use up to four notches, one high pass, one low pass and two peak filters are included. You can set the frequency, the Q value for all of them. You can set the gain for the peak filters and you can set the slop for the high pass and low pass. Okay, for the equalizer we can change the frequency, the Q value, the gain and the slope. And we can also resize the plugin. I got one track left to try it on and that's the guitar and I'm curious to try out the equalizer function. So let's try to double click somewhere at the curve. Now this gain knob is functioning. 
let's cut it around 300 hertz. That's often a problematic frequency. Let's push the high end. Maybe around 8 kilohertz. Nice frequency. Blend the dry signal out. We can add another filter. One low pass, one high pass and two bell filters. This really is a great plugin. I love the features it got. They put so much effort in this and I'm sure that this was a hard work in developing. I also like the design. It is really easy to use. It got all the reverb plugin needs and it also sounds really great. I can only recommend it. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you liked it, maybe you want to give me a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel. That would be really great. So maybe we will see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.